They're some of the most iconic images in America, as important now as they were when they were first created. This is five things you don't know about U.S. national symbols. Today, Uncle Sam is synonymous with the U.S. government and is the personification of American patriotism and loyalty. But believe it or not, historians have traced this fictitious figure back to a real person, a meatpacker named Samuel Wilson. You see, during the War of 1812, the government contracted Wilson to supply meat to American troops stationed in Troy, New York. After packing and inspecting the wooden casks, Wilson stamped them with the letters U.S for the United States, and then he shipped them to the troops. But because Wilson was already known as Uncle Sam to many of his friends and business associates, it didn't take long for the American soldiers to start joking that the U.S. label meant their food actually came from Uncle Sam. And after that, it was only a matter of time before the moniker expanded to include all things U.S. military, and eventually, the U.S. government. If you ask any American today to name the famous bell in Philadelphia, you'll undoubtedly hear the answer, Liberty Bell. But if you ask that same question 200 and some years ago during the Revolutionary War, you'd get a very different response. That's because this iconic bell was originally named the State House Bell, so called because it hung from the steeple of the Pennsylvania State House. In fact, it wasn't until the 1830s that the name Liberty Bell started to come about. At that time, abolitionists adopted the bell as a symbol for the anti-slavery movement by calling upon all people to heed its inscription, proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. This emphasis on liberty stuck, and after that, the bell became known as the Liberty Bell. Apollo missions of the late 60s and early 70s, U.S. astronauts planted a total of six American flags on the surface of the moon. Today, these national emblems are still in outer space. That's one small step for man. But while the flags have survived for more than 45 years, they almost certainly look nothing like they originally did. According to scientists, decades of intense, unfiltered sunlight and UV radiation have almost certainly bleached the fabric white, removing any trace of the iconic stars and stripes. Francis Scott Key famously wrote the lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner in the aftermath of the British attack on Fort McHenry in 1814. Put to music shortly afterward, it quickly became popular as a stirring representation of American strength and patriotism. But while the song was widely performed at national events and military ceremonies throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries, it held only unofficial status as a national symbol. In fact, it wasn't until 1931, more than 100 years after it was written, that President Herbert Hoover finally signed a congressional resolution making the Star Spangled Banner our national anthem. And the
In the years preceding America's direct involvement in World War I, the United States government actively supplied Great Britain with munitions to support the war effort. And among the military depots used to ship these explosives was Black Tom Island in New York Harbor, not far from the Statue of Liberty. Targeted by German saboteurs, the island was set ablaze just after midnight on July 30, 1916. The flames ignited more than 50 tons of TNT and more than 2,000 tons of ammunition. As shrapnel and debris flew through the night sky, the Statue of Liberty was hit, sustaining more than $100,000 in damage, the majority of which was to her torch-bearing arm. As a result, the stairs to the torch, which had previously been opened to tourists, were shut down, and they have never been reopened since. One of our most majestic national symbols, the bald eagle, is the centerpiece of the great seal of the United States, the flag of the president, and it appears on literally billions of pieces of American currency. But when the bald eagle was first adopted as our national bird, the decision came with some controversy, most famously opposition from Benjamin Franklin. Do you know why Franklin was against the bald eagle? If so, post your answer below or reach out to us through Twitter using hashtag five things you don't know.